Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living. And today I wanted to talk about the inside of the house a little bit. Now, uh, some of you guys who know me, I own a radio station and I do podcast shows. But typically I have really nice backgrounds and stuff. Well, obviously, I don't have very nice backgrounds right now. This is my workstation right now. It's probably, I know it's dark in here. And uh, um, so this is actually why I've been doing my podcasting and some of my live streams. And uh, what we're waiting for, and the time has come, we had to wait and get some stuff out of this house um, uh, to give the family. And they did that. And so now the room that's going to become my studio is in the works and I'll show it to you real quick. So this is actually the new room that's going to become a, our st my studio. So basically the camera will be set up over here. I'll use some of the natural lighting to help with lighting. Uh, there'll be some uh, hardcore lighting to light up what's going to be a green screen right here. And uh, um, <laughs> it sounds so easy but it's a lot of wires and cameras. And then all of our electronics and all of our podcasts and, and extra microphones and stuff will be stored in here. Uh, we've still got a couple more things to get out of here, but it uh, won't be too long. We'll have a regular studio, and I'm really looking forward to that. In the meantime, uh, I finally got the pressure washer working and put a new uh, spray nozzle on it. So I did uh, get a chance to spray down all the cars and the concrete here, and it does... A great job at cleaning a Traeger. And meantime after that, my wife has been digging away at a big root that I showed you before. I didn't give you a very good look at it. But it's the root from hell. And Sherry has been diligently digging, cutting, digging, cutting. And I'll let you see what she's doing. So how's it coming? Slow. <laughs> but it's coming. So this thing is really close to the house. <laughs> it's right on the on house. On the house. So she's kind of working at it, hand cutting it a little bit. Not really much we can do with the chainsaw. But you can see how close it is. And uh, it'll be quite the achievement <laughs> when you get this out. We should have a party. Yep. So uh, she did get some of it out of here. Here's some of it. So that's just fractional. And we found out that the root is also traveling along the side of the house. So uh, with her patience, uh, I know that she'll probably, she'll get it out of there. She's, she's stubborn that way. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just go around and fix things. So uh, uh, like I said, we got Cinder's pool over there all cleaned out. Cars cleaned up. We've got the pressure washer working. And the reason we want the pressure washer working so we can start cleaning the side of the house and the back of the house where Sherry uh, redid the whole area back there and looks beautiful. And the final touch will be getting the cobwebs and the icky stuff off the side of the house. And once again we're trying to prep the house a little bit to put new siding on. So that's what's going on outside. And then there's of course dingling and older dingling constantly playing. And we just, you probably saw yesterday's video of these two. And, uh, yeah, kind of have a little dog time. So, all right, let's move on. Alrighty, so I sit down, a spell, and uh, yak with you for a minute. Uh, just watched another report, some very interesting things going on in New York where they're actually starting to do uh, legislation. <laughs> the Senate uh, is trying to make new laws about uh, putting people in detention and stuff. And I, I'm not making this stuff up. Get, just go to their government site and see what the latest legislation, I can't say the word today, um, is going on. And it's like a pretty scary thing when they can separate you from your children and stuff. And actually, not with facts but even with opinions and uh, I don't know how well that's going to become a law maybe it'll be challenged I hope 
but uh, it's getting kind of scary and, and it kind of brings me back to uh, trying to get more self-reliant where you don't have to go out in the public and keeping your kids out of school I mean uh, uh, and and having them homeschooled and stuff there's some real benefits to that if you can do it yes I know there's people working and some aren't working times are tough um, uh, beware of those low interest rates um, and six months from now the real estate market could look really different so you could get that beautiful four hundred thousand dollar house and six months from now a big uh, crash comes along in the housing market and that four hundred thousand house is dropped down to three hundred thousand and then you're underwater and that's what happened in 2008 uh, once again this is not a channel to be gloom and doom it's one to be ahead of the game is really my uh, rule of thumb is um, pay attention listen to different medias not just one um, go on YouTube and uh, there's financial folks that are talking about the housing markets and the GDP and all kinds of stuff um, that give you some general ideas of what's going on and what they're trying to do is to tell you the same thing I'm telling you is uh, beware um, uh, some folks uh, some of you guys I know are feeling the pinch some of you guys already have been laid off or furloughed and stuff and uh, so anything you can do whether you live in an apartment an RV uh, rent a house um, things you can do to kind of um, be prepped up a little bit I mean the one thing that's cool about prepping is even if let's say you get laid off for a period of time um, if you have a food storage uh, the stress I mean there's enough stress just being unemployed and paying bills but one less stress would be knowing you have an archive of uh, extra food in the house and stuff where you could maybe not go to the store so much and be easier on the wallet when times are tough so uh, prepping has all kinds of benefits to it uh, especially if there's storms and uh, power outages and uh, you know things we don't expect the wildfires and things like that um, having a little extra is definitely the way to go and do it I'm not not all at once just a little at a time here and there and uh, um, like I said I always tell people to play the what if scenario what if I didn't have power what if I didn't have water what if I uh, have to feed my pets um, you know, all these little things what if I have to brush my teeth what if we don't have toilet paper all those kind of things just keep asking yourself those questions and try to fill in those questions with answers um, and before you know it you're uh, in much better shape than you were a couple of months ago and you still have time some people say oh it's too late not too late and of course we got winter coming and with winter coming it means uh, power outages when they have storms go through and trees falling on power lines and stuff it's always nice to have a little extra food a way to cook cook without your stove um, those kind of things keep in mind can you what can you do about that and can you do it affordably you can so uh, anyway I hope that's I'm, I'm a preacher of this I apologize but uh, I'm not trying to be some hot shot or saying I'm the way to do it um, everybody's got to do it a little different I'm just trying to keep you thinking about it and then get curious and go find out more about the things that you're concerned about housing market credit card rates interest loans those those kind of things you should find out a little bit more uh, I think you might get a little spooked but you can prepare so all right guys I'm gonna let you go thank you so much for listening and watching our channel please please like like really helps uh, subscribe to our channel and share our video to all those people out there you know send them a link let them see our channel tell them to say hi in the comments below we'd love to say hi to you so say hello to us and tell us what you're up to and what some of your concerns are and if you're a city person thinking about moving out to the country uh, you know uh, there's hardcore and there's medium core and then there's kind of common sense easy way to go to get away from the cities a little bit so uh, we are kind of in the middle and that uh, works really good for us in at our age so there guys have a great day be safe until next time bye now
Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.